What up players, it's Wobots Tay up in this mud. I realized that I forgot to show you the color scheme of the old ogres in my last unboxing video. So this is what they look like on the back of the old battalion box. As you can see it's a very gray greenish kind of color. And um Yeah, so that's 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 what they look like back in the day. I took all these little knoblars that are kind of decorative and I threw them in to the unit. So in this old box set you get 24 knoblars but with the addition of all of the extra ones that come in the, the regular ogre's frame and the iron guts as well as the lead belcher's frame you get 18 more. So I happened to buy a package of so little square bases, just you know, in case I might need some of these square bases. You've got cavalry bases, 40 millimeter bases, and um, 20 millimeter, 25 millimeter bases, and I threw them on them, and so I've got 18 more than I would have normally. So I think that's awesome. My favorite model is this one, Sir Noblar. He's got a, a knight's helmet. He's riding on top of this guy who I gave the horned helmet, like he's riding a bull charging into bat battle. I think if um, I was looking at the new Ogre Kingdoms book and it says that Noblars can have, units of Noblars can have standards, <laughs> so uh, standard bearers, so I'm thinking if I do decide to, uh, I, I don't know why I would, but if I want to make a standard then I would like probably chop off the end of the spear, put on a, a brass rod and then affix a standard to it. I think that might be cute. Um, and pretty funny. So yeah, there, there's that. The variety of heads, you know, I didn't really get to look at them too well in my unboxing video, but they're really funny. Most of them have these rag cloth caps on, and some of them have um, this Bretonian men-at-arms pot helmet, like this guy back here. I think that's really funny. Sorry, let me see if I can get a good focus on this guy. And he's like saying, yo! <laughs> so really cute, um, comical, whimsical. So let's look at the other guys. The Here are the lead belchers. I gotta liquid green stuff that before I base these guys. Um, but the sprues come with so much extra stuff that I just pack them onto the back of the backs of these guys like they've got like little knoblars hanging from bags extra weapons barrels of gunpowder or alcohol um, and the the faces for these guys are so awesome here's one with the matchstick in his head I, I modeled him to look like he's leaning in to light his cannon on fire so that's the narrative for him uh, most of these don't really have a narrative. I just wanted to pack as much stuff on as possible So there's that guy. I love how they've got like the spears and swords and maces sticking out of their cannon barrels And this one just looks like a Empire great cannon that he just picked up and is carrying around the field Hilarious This guy's got a knoblar on his back. I gave him the face with a scarf over his mouth so I'm gonna paint that all sooty, like uh, it's covered in soot and like the backwash from the from the burn of the of the cannon as it goes off. There's that, and then uh, here is the regular old ogres. I decided to give uh, give both my ogre unit and my iron guts or <laughs> iron, yeah, iron guts, iron bowl unit. Um, they I've decided to give both of them full command means champion, musician, and standard. Iron guts, okay, iron guts, sorry. I keep getting that mixed up for some reason. I keep wanting to say iron bulls. So here's a bellower or a musician, like he's singing really loudly. And um he's got stuff all over his belt. You've got like you get these like top knots in the ogre frame, so I decided to glue them to some of my bald guy's heads just to give him a little different you know, something different. Um, here's my champion. I gave him one of the chopped off standards from one of my um, standard frames. And then the 
the standard top to mark him out as champion. It's the head I gave him to make him look a little bit more wizened and older and grizzled. And then here is the standard bearer with Noblar, Lookout Noblar. Magnetize the top of it. Uh, it's not really hidden, but I'll um, spray prime that and paint over it, and then it just attaches right on top like that. So that's pretty cool, right? He's got a little top knot too. And um, yeah, you got a couple guys in the back. Here's one holding the bear trap. And finally, let's look at our Iron Guts guys. These are the guys that have two hand weapons. They're more armored, they're bulkier. Uh, they come with these extra shields, like these Bretonian shields with little metal plates grafted onto it, like they're um, riveted to the guy's bodies. So uh, I decided to use them as like arm armor. So there's one, he's a champion. So I've got like he's got his weapon slung over his back. Here's a bear trap. I gave him the lizardman uh, loincloth. I think that's hilarious. Got a regular guy here. He doesn't have a shield for armor. I'm gonna have to clean up that mold line a little bit. And then here's a standard with the Great Maw standard. Thank you uh, for telling me that the little iron plate was in the back. Uh, when I asked in the last video, like, what is this iron plate, this little round plate in the back for? Um, one of my subscribers was kind enough and helpful enough to to point that out. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking out who looking up who it is so I can give them a shout out. Uh, what else? What else? Here's the bellower for this one. So because there's no um, oops free two-handed weapons, I just gave him uh, the one-handed weapon from the regular ogre frame, but I gave him the iron guts helmet so you could tell that he belongs in the iron guts unit. I gave him a shield as armor. Um, Kane! Oh, it was Kane, TLA, who told me that the round disc was for the back of this. So thanks, Kane. Thank you. And um, I gave him the, the spooky the spooky mask face. I thought that's hilarious. The spooky chainmail mask. Looks like a total cold-blooded killer. And I gave him a shield, Empire shield, on one arm and a round shield on his other arm. Decided to make him the most um, armored unit uh, guy in the unit. So there you have it. It's my old school ogre battalion. We'll see how far we get painting wise. Now that Janu Ogres painting challenge is, I guess, officially underway. I'm probably going to be putting these guys on the back burner once the vampire counts come in, but. Until then, it might be nice to paint a couple of these ogre guys up. Uh, so thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. Like I said, if you get the new ogre battalion, you're not going to get these uh, these knoblars. But you know, the more I was thinking about it, the more I was looking at what you get in the new battalion, a whole bunch of these ogre guys, you could make a small little unit of knoblars just from the knoblars you get on the frames. I think with the 18 that I got from just having the bulls and the iron guts and the lead belchers. If you had a couple more frames of those to bulk out the bull units, um, I think that the new ogre battalion has, then you could make, you know, just a regular, you, you have your own enough knoblars to make your own little unit. Um, they're just not gonna look like fighting knoblars, they're gonna look like these, these um, equipment carrying knoblars, like I have in the front here, but you know, hey, it's a, it's a gift from GW, so why waste it? You know what I'm saying? Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you found a little bit of inspiration to get you through your day, and we'll see you in the next video.